This is a quick tutorial of how to import Safari and Chrome documents and articles into Speechify. So the first thing I want to do is I can open Speechify and go to import. And then if I click on other sources, Safari, I'll see a tutorial of how to activate the share button within Safari. Uh, in this case, I have here a document about uh, Dale Carnegie. I could just click share to Speechify and it'll open in a Speechify. And now it's creating a folder for me with the contents of that document. But what if I want to share, let's say an article from the New York Times. To do that, what I first need to do is click the share button, open on the New York Times or an article that I want to read, and I need to activate the Speechify share file. There's a different button that exists for PDFs. That's the one we saw before. This other button is for sharing articles. So let's open an article I want to listen to. And then there's a paywall here, but hopefully it'll still work. Share to Speechify. Listen now. Russia is targeting Europe's elections. So are far-right copycats. Okay, so then what if I want to listen to an article from the Wall Street Journal? I just go into the Wall Street Journal, find an article that I want to listen to, share to Speechify. So I can save to listen later, and it won't take me to the app, or listen now, and it'll take me to the app. China invites U.S. negotiators to continue trade talks. Why? So in these cases, it worked and it worked very easily. But sometimes it won't work, especially if there's a paywall blocking the content that you want to reach or if you have a poor internet connection or anything like that. In those cases, what you want to do is here's a good example. So here's an article from Yahoo Finance, right? And let's assume that I tried to import and it didn't work. The best way for me to then handle the situation is click up here on the reader view. And then I want to long press the first word of the article, pull that line all the way down and either scroll with my thumb or with my finger until I get to the bottom of the article. And all I'm doing really is I'm highlighting all the text in the article. So then I can copy it into Speechify. Okay, so now I've highlighted all the text. I click copy. I double click to go back into Speechify and it identifies this new text in my clipboard. America's teachers are paid poorly compared to other college graduates. A new study details, and that's driving a large and growing teacher shortage that's approaching a tipping point. And then like this, I can import any article, even if it has a paywall uh, that makes it inaccessible to Speechify or if I have a bad internet connection. We're always trying to work on making this feature better, but sometimes there will be bugs. If there are, just send us a message and we'll work on fixing it for the website that you're trying to import from. The other thing that I could do is import documents into Speechify from Safari. So for example, here I have a New York Times article about uh, the pros and cons of noise canceling earphones. It's getting blocked, but whatever. Uh, and I'm going to share it into Speechify. Once I share it into Speechify, it's going to load up here. The pros and cons of noise cancelling headphones, the New York Times. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is how to import actually a PDF from Safari. Okay, so let's say I want to listen to Harry Potter. Harry Potter dot PDF. I can search for it on Safari. And I can find the first link, which is this PDF. And then what I could do is just click the import button into Speechify. And now it parsed that uh, PDF for me. So I can see that this is actually really nice. There's uh, 219 pages. They're all Harry Potter. Because it's a big book, it created a new folder for me. So I'm going to wait for that folder to fully load. And I can see that uh, the second portion of the book already loaded. It's finishing the first part. And I want to ask it to speak. Part half, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. What I can also do is show original file. Not for the first time, an argument had broken out over breakfast at number four, Privet Drive, MR. Vernon Dursley had been woken in the early hours of the morning by a loud, hooting noise from his nephew Harry's room. Third time this week, he roared across the table. If you can't control that out, it'll have to go. Harry tried yet again to explain. She's bored, he said. She's used to flying around outside. If I could just let her out at night, do I look stupid? Snarled Uncle Vernon, a bit of fright at dangling from his bushy mustache. No one will happen if that L's let out. He exchanged dark looks with his wife. The two